we're going to divide a two-digit number by a one-digit number using a concrete model with manipulatives to represent an array. In division, I'm going to start with my total, and I'm going to divide it by the number of groups or the number in each group. Right now, because there's no context, no story problem, we don't know what that three represents. If there was a story problem, it could represent the number of groups or the number in each group. We get to decide because we just have an expression here. So I know I'm going to start with 18. I'm gonna use these square tiles and count out 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Now, I want to put them into rows. I was saying groups, but with an array, we use rows. So I'm going to divide these 18 into three equal rows. So I'm gonna start my rows and then share them equally until I have a total amount in each row. So my rows are all equal, they have the same amount. I have three groups, so now I can count how many are in each group. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So each row has six items in that row. Now let's look at it if we wanted to put three in each row and we didn't know the number of rows there were. So again, we have our 18 square units. Now we're going to put three square units in each row. So I'm going to count out three and then move on to the next row. So there's three. I have one row. There's another three that makes two rows. Here's another three. That's three rows. Another three. That's four rows. Here's another three that's five rows. Let me push these up. And then I have enough for one more row. So I have six rows of three. So we know that 18 divided by three equals six. We took a two digit number and divided by a one digit number using a concrete model with manipulatives to represent an array.